Hi, in this uh, video I'm going to show you what happens when you get a problem with WordPress site and you don't have the IN cube installed. It's an it's a IN cube loader and uh, <clears throat> I'm with uh, my hosting company is SiteGround so this might be uh, not work for everybody this method but if you're with SiteGround this method may work or should work and <clears throat> it's missing I guess this um, some, I guess maybe some of the um, <clears throat> parts of the website need this to work. And uh, so let's go take a look and see why we're getting this error or how to fix this error, okay? So we're gonna go down first off uh, into the um, <clears throat> the website that we were looking at, coolstorestuff.club. Okay, so we're with SiteGround. And we're, we're looking at our PHP version. I click there to get it and you're on the screen. And this is their uh, latest tested stable version. Other versions can work, but pay attention to the first two digits here, seven, four. The other two digits, you don't have to worry. Uh, you can change the um, PHP version manually here or have it done automatically. Um, and, you know, there's this drop down. So you can go to some older ones and some of the really old ones are way down here. Okay, so but we'll just leave it at uh, where it was, seven, seven, four. This is where we had the original error. And uh, I noticed this error because uh, someone hacked my site and then I had to re-upload it and then after reinstalling the site and everything, I had this error. So then I thought, oh, I'll get some other problem too. Maybe in the process of reinstalling it, I, um, I don't have the IN cube anymore. Maybe I didn't uh, install that or something because I did a sort of a fresh install and I might have missed that file. So anyway, no problem. So let's go back and so how do we fix it? We're going into the, um, you can do it two ways. You can actually contact uh, SiteGround right here and just just say, uh, you can go ion, ion cube, so it says ion cube loader, and then follow through here and then you can actually uh, just chat with someone. I think you can just go to their chat and then, and then, and they're pretty fast. They actually did it within like five or 10 minutes they had it up and running. But I'm not sure they'll always be that fast. So, you know, you, this is a way you could probably do it yourself. Uh, it's a little secret. Okay, so now we're going up to File Manager for this site. This is the one we have the problem with. And you'll have to do this with any other sites you have that have the problem. You'll have to do the same process because it's it's uh, it works for each site, not through your whole account, okay? So we're on our public HTML. Now, if I go down, uh, okay, go on to this list here. Okay, I'm looking for a file. Okay, very specific file. It's a, um, maybe I passed it. Uh, where'd she go? I just go down a bit, maybe I, no, oh, it's, it's supposed to be there. Hold on. Um, oh, here, here it is. I switched it off, that's why I was looking. I turned it off earlier so it's it's actually php ini I, I i switched it i just typed the i renamed it to off ph i just want to switch it off so you know when your program is looking for a very specific uh uh p it's looking for only php ini and when i rename it to off it doesn't get it so now that's why it's broken so i just wanted to demonstrate it broken and by renaming this okay you're, you're probably not going to have to do this i'm just going to put it back to where it should be okay uh confirm okay okay good now it should be uh there it is right here okay now let's go to edit this there we go edit so it's just a one line that's it so you may not even have php i and i in your in, in your uh list so you've got to, you got you can just create the folder uh you can go back here okay if you don't have it you just go to the public, uh, or sorry, you got to go to the Explorer. So if you, if you don't have, uh, let's go down here again. Um, yeah, if you don't have this folder, you just go up here and say click new file and name it. Give the file the name of this, and it'll be blank. And once you have it in your list, then like I have, you would just edit. You go like this, and this is what you want to copy in, okay? Now remember before the PH ver PHP version I said, is 74 well and, and that's what i should have here i was messing around with it because these got to match like if i if i go with php 74 i want 74 in here if i want php 72 you know 
it's just the first two digits that, that you're looking at. 72, this should be 72. That's what I found. It seems to work all the time from my experience. And so what I think is happening here <clears throat> is this library and this extension, INQ, is already exists on SiteGround, but you just gotta, you gotta point to it. So this is just sort of, I guess, pulling it up and then allowing it to be used on this particular URL. In this case, coolstorestuff.club. So I'm gonna put it back to 74, okay? And that's what, cause that's what we, we have it. That's the latest and greatest PHP stable version. And I'm gonna save it. Don't forget to save it. And there's another thing you gotta do. Now, if I go to my site, okay, and I reload it, it won't work. Why is that? I'll show you. This is very important. So it's not working. See, I still got the same error, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. Anyway, I'll tell you if you, it, cause usually it doesn't load like that for me when I did that. Um, unless I did something else before that uh, it was already in memory. But what you normally have to do, okay, if it doesn't load, it may be fine, but what you gotta do, don't forget to do this. Go to speed, go to caching. This is in your site ground. Uh, and this may work with other servers, I don't know. Um, you know, but I go to dynamic cache and you just wanna clear out your cache here. Okay, you just, you're just clearing out the cache, okay. And because what it has, it, it sometimes stores the latest page in memory. And if the latest page was a page that had a problem, it'll just keep popping up. So now if I, you know, if I had the problem now and I did that, it would come up. But for some reason I didn't have it. So anyway, but I hope that helps. Uh, so basically all you got to do is match up the, um, just in summary, you go to PHP manager. Okay. Uh, check your version. So in this case, seven, so seven, four. Okay, we're going we're, we're going with that. And then you go into um, file manager. Okay. You um, into public HTML. Okay. Click on that, and then uh, oh, you got to be an explorer. Um, okay. So then you go to that file that we did did here. Okay. Edit that file, and you may have to create this file if you don't have it. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, some weird stuff is just popping in and popping out. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let me just click on one and then go. This I think this is a little bug, buggy sometimes. <laughs> this uh, file manager, uh, no big deal. It, it it generally works, but just sometimes you got to click something and then it, it sometimes refreshes it. So here we go. Click it and then yeah, there we go. Edit. So edit and then just make sure this line is in here. That's it. Save it and then you know flush out your cache and uh, you should be good to go. So this may help for some people. I hope it does. Uh, and again, you can always click here and just, you know, contact or support and search for what you're looking for. And then uh, they'll, they'll put it in for you too. So, and keep in mind, you might have to do this for all your sites if you have a problem. The reason I have this problem, by the way, um, is because uh, if you look at my, now I don't see the error. Let me show, show you the original error. Um, so let's, uh, how are we going to do this? Let's name this just for, to change it. Let's put it to 73, save it, because it won't, it'll stop working now, right? Okay. Right, now, and let's see if it uh, stops working my site right now. Maybe I, st okay, it stopped working it now. So that time I didn't have to recache it to have it due to this, but sometimes I have had to do that. So, so it says, uh, you know, I get this problem, right? And the, um, the original reason I had this problem uh, was because I have a, a program called, um, it's, it's a, um, yeah, it's Ad Tracks Gold. It's a link tracking program. And there's a script in there because uh, I got a, a more um, detailed um, explanation once before. And there's a script in there that uh, uses old outdated PHP code and so this doesn't like it. That's what the iron cube fixes. So this may, you may get this error for other reasons, but I had ad tracks gold, which was a link tracking software. So you could get this for other reasons and this, the fix would probably be the same. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, so me, if you want, check out some of my other videos, you might find some of them important, uh, you know, good for WordPress and stuff like that. I have other marketing videos and stuff like that. All right, uh, all the best, take care.